the Christianity doctrine. Who taught us that? Who taught them? Who taught them guys? You you find, you find find it. It's you talking about the white man. Read it again. You don't know Christ, brother. You don't know Christ. Read. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. Who spoils this Negro right here? The white man. Read. Through philosophy. It's philosophy he's coming with. And another little man in the back. Read. What is this thing lying? Lying! Who fought them? That's the tradition of men. The white man fought our people out. That's what they're coming with. No, but don't they fight for that. Nobody sees Jesus Christ. Everybody sees nobody. This is Negro. That's what they're coming with. To keep us on the bottom. But the day is over. The mind of the slave is finished. But this shall be. But this war that's coming up now shall be what? Shall be with burning and fuel of fire. That's plain. But this war is going to be with burning and fuel of fire, meaning nuclear destruction. teach the blacks, the so-called Hispanics, and the Native Americans that we are the children of the Most High God. That's right. right. And we are here to show you that you must come back to keeping God's laws. That's right. Because we're tired of being at the bottom of society. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. Read. And to walk in all his ways. Read. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord and the statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. For your what? For thy good. So if you want to have, have something good in your life to happen to you, you must keep God's commandments. Right! So you know you're Israel. So you must keep God's commandments. So you're going to keep the beard. So you know that's the law. The fringes. You're going to take care of the fringes. Yeah. So you must that must that you must do that because that is the law. Right. Because we all we all love God, right? right? All right. We must do what He says. We must congregate. All right. Give me Zephaniah. All right. Because we know we must come together as a people. Right. If you look around or you turn on any any media source or any media outlet, you're gonna see that we're at the bottom. Right. You're gonna see that we're the people that's not desired. Right. I got that. I got a question, bro. Oh, let me read this. Read this. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Read. Gather yourselves together. Yep. Okay. Gather together, O nation not desired. We are the people that's not desired. Do you agree with that? Amongst all the other people, we are the ones that's not desired. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We must congregate. Right. That is a law that we must do. All right. We must come together as a people. All right. We must humble ourselves to learn this knowledge. All right. Read. Leviticus. Chapter 23, verse 2. Read, look it out. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which he shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. So what day is the day? The day is the, day the Sabbath of rest. Read. And holy convocations, he shall do no work therein. All right, a convocation. A holy convocation, a holy gathering. Right. All right, so we must come to come together because that is a law that we must do that. All right, we can't go off and do our own thing. We can't go off and have our have our own thoughts. Give me eight, uh, Romans eight and sixteen. Bring it out. Because we must come together and keep God's laws as a nation of people. All right, because He mentioned the hundred forty-four thousand. He mentioned the twelve thousand that were tried, the men. All right, because because the Bible says we must gather, we must bring our families together. All right, rule our families. Get our families in order. So when we when we're in order, our women are going to be in order. Right. All right. right. When the men are in order, the nation is going to be in order. 
All right, read that. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. Read. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. So your spirit is bearing witness to what you've been here today, right? Right. Read. That we are the children of God. So you have no doubt about that, right? No, no, so you know you're you know you're the child of God. Yeah. Alright, you know you're the Israelite. Yeah. Alright, so what you must do now? What must you do? Yeah. You must come back and keep us, so are you gonna do that? Yeah. Alright, so brother say gonna do that. Give me uh Proverbs 28 and 9. Bring it up! Alright, we'll keep it. Let's finish that. Is that it? Alright. Alright, so we must come back and keep God's laws. Alright, you must come that you married. You married? Okay. Girlfriend? All right, you got kids? No kids. All right, how old are you? 25. All right, you need to come back because it's a great time to know that you're an Israelite. Yes, Because you probably got some homies, some people, some family members who, who died and passed on. Didn't get this knowledge. All right, it's a great time to know that you're an Israelite. That's right. I'll read that. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayers shall be abomination. You don't want your prayers to be an abomination, do you not? All right, so you must keep God's law. We must keep God's law. Right. Give me Revelation uh, 22 and, and 14. We must keep God's law because the laws are only for us. We're God's chosen people, and that's no doubt about it. All right, we're going to hit this and we'll go back to Deuteronomy. Oh, you had a question? Go ahead, give me that. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So, blessed are they that do the, do the commandments. The, the, officers, the brothers read to you earlier who the commandments were given to, right? right? So blessed are they that do the commandments. So if we were the only ones that was given the commandments, who are the only ones that's going to be blessed? We are. That's Three. right. That they may have right to the tree of life. Who's got the right to the tree of life? Those who do the commandments. Do the commandments. Who, which are who? The Israelites. Three. Right. And may enter into the gates, into the city. Into the gates of the city. So we, in order to enter to the gates of the city, in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven, we must keep God's laws. All right? What's your question? All right, uh, uh, Give me numbers, one and eighteen. There's no, there's no mix. There's no mix mixing or mix according to according to the Most High God. Bring it out! Bring it out! Because guess what? You probably know this question already. Know the answer. The teaching to this question. soldier. Who has the seed? The man or the woman? The man has the seed, right? So if I took a seed of an apple, all right, just use an apple for example before we read the scripture. If I took a seed of an apple and planted a seed of an apple, I planted it in, in, in north in northwest Asia, all right. What kind of what kind of fruit would grow from that seed? Gonna have, an it's gonna have an apple. It may have a different flavor because the soil is different, right? right? But it's gonna be an apple. Right. You eat, you eat watermelons, right? Yeah. You eat peaches, right? Yeah. Where do they say the best peaches come from? Georgia. Georgia, right? Yeah. So when, so, but it's still a peach, right? right. It's got a different flavor. Guess why? Because the soil is different. You understand that? Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Read. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Read. And they declare their pedigree. What's the pedigree, Brother, brother Mark? Your, uh, your lineage. Your lineage. Your, your bloodline. Your After who? After their family. By the house of their fathers. So their mothers. By the house of their fathers. So the pedigree, your your lineage comes from who? My father. Your father. So you are what your father is. That's right. All right. So you, there's no mixing in the Bible. All right. Because it doesn't matter what the what the woman is, but if you if you, but that doesn't mean that you're going to go off and marry someone of another nation because that is sin. No, yeah. But if that happened before you you, you learn the truth. It, it, it happened. It, it is what it is. Right. From your father and from your father's father. Right. All right. That's what you are. All right. So everybody that's like, you know what I'm saying, uh, United States is black. Not, not all the blacks are. So they may, right. they, may they, all of, they may not be. All right. Because because you know because because some they may look black just yeah. like Bob Marley. Yeah. Right. Bob Marley looked black, but his father was his father was an Edomite. That's right. All right. All right. So his father was an Edomite. So he's not he's not Judah. Okay. Give me Deuteronomy. Give me Deuteronomy 28. All right. We're gonna go back and you, you have more questions. All right. So you must you must start congregating. We got the information. Go back. We expect to see you in the school, bro. All right. Because all right. Because repentance. Huh? All right. Give me give me uh, 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 Acts. All right. Because that's what we must do. But once we learn this truth and once we get this knowledge, we must come back and keep in God's law. Because that's why we're at the bottom of society. That's why we, we're out here standing on the street corner. 
All right? That's, right. That's why when you turn on the news, we're being shot down in the mall with you know doing the same thing everybody else is doing. Right. That's, All right? Right. That's why when we're, we're being we're being hung on trees in Jackson, right here. All right. That's why this stuff is happening because we we stop keeping God's law. All right. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. That your sins may be blotted out. Alright, so you gotta repent. You gotta turn back from what you used to do, the lifestyle you used to live, and start keeping God's laws. You keep Thanksgiving? No. You keep Christmas? No. Alright, you do birthdays. Mother's Day. Yeah, I, do, I do birthdays. You do Mother's Day. Yeah, I do Mother's Day. You do Father's Day. No. Alright, but you do Mother's Day. Yeah. Alright? Give me, give me uh, uh, your black team. Right? Yeah. Because we got to come back and keep God's law. All that other stuff that we used to do, we was taught that by our oppressor. Alright? We was taught that here in America. Why do you have people that, not even from this country, they're not even born in this country, but after two or three years in this country, they start doing what everybody else is doing. They start keeping Thanksgiving. They start doing all these other wicked holidays because they assimilate into this country so they can be accepted. That's right. All right? Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Read. Hear ye the words which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So who's the most high God talking to? The house of Israel. He's talking to us, the blacks, and Spanish, and Native Americans. Read. Hey, That's sister. Nice. Hey, y'all got a minute? Sister, you got a minute? Y'all got a minute? Can you come on here for a second? You pull right here. All right, read. Thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not what? Learn not the way of the heathen. So we know the heathens are the other nations outside of Israel. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Zodiac sign, horoscope. I'm, you know, I'm a Capricorn. Who gives a damn about you being a Capricorn? All right. Yeah. He says, learn not the ways of the heathen. Hey, says, what's your nationality? You're thinking about it. Why are you thinking about it? What's your nationality, sis? You're what? You're Baptist. That's, that's the church you go to, sis. That's not your nationality. All right. That's not your nationality. What's your nationality, sis? All right, Deuteronomy 28. You don't, you don't know yet, right? Why don't y'all get out of the car for a second and learn? Five minutes. Learn who you are. Because you probably got kids that think that their nationality is a religion that was taught by a white man. Bring it out! Alright? Alright? So we, we... Come on, sis. It don't take but a minute, sis. You just went to the store. You can just go to the store. Why not come in and listen to God's word? Come on. Alright? Read that. Bring it out! The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. Hold on. When you hear it shall come to pass, it means something's going to happen at a later time. You understand that, right? What's your name? Who? Bridget. Oh, hey, I'm Josiah. All right, how you doing? All right. All right, don't go away, brother. All right, read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not what until the rest of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe and do all his commandments and his statutes. The command in this day. All right. So we, so we came, we came to this country. How? How did we come to this? How did we come to this country? In ships. All right. You agree with that, sis? We came here on a slave ship, right? You agree with that, sis? You agree with that, sis? Yeah. She's listening. All right. We came here on a slave ship, right? So read that from the top again. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the not, voice of the Lord thy God. If you will not listen to the voice of God. If you will not listen to the voice of God, read. Hearken means to listen. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. He says to observe and to do all his commandments. Read. And his statutes, Read. which I command in this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if I, if I ask you, do you want a blessing or a curse, which one will you choose? You want a blessing. So a curse is a bad thing, right? Yes. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and come back to Deuteronomy 1 and 1. I'm going to read Deuteronomy 1 and 1 so let you know who Moses is speaking to. All right, because Moses wrote this book, right? All right, so we're going we're gonna to find out who Moses is talking to because we think he's talking to everybody. We think he's talking to the whole world. Read. Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. No, he was talking to the whole world. Moses spake unto all Israel. So he was talking to all Israel. Moses was dealing with Israel. I'm, yes. I'm going to show you what your nationality is. Just bear with me. You're going to find out what your nationality is because Moses is, is dealing with the Israelites. All right. Read Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Go to 16. First Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. All right, so Moses told the Israelites, hey, if you don't keep the, keep the laws of God, God told the Israelites, if you don't keep my laws, you're going to be cursed in the city. What people that you can you can think of is, is at the bottom of society? What people? Blacks, Hispanics, white people, uh, Asian, Arabs, Chinese. Who, who is this? Don't be afraid. Black people, you agree that says, are we at the top? Black people at the top or at the bottom right now? At the bottom. At the bottom. You agree with that, bro? We're at the bottom. Read it again. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. When you go into the ghetto, what people live in the ghetto? Poor people, Chinese people, right? Poor Chinese. You got neighbors who are Chinese. Come on, sis, work with me. You know that when you go into the ghetto, you got our people living in the ghetto. Right. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We live in the ghetto. That's we right. populate the ghetto. Look at the corners up here. You don't see Chinese standing on the corner. Right. They run the store, sis. Okay? They hit the store. We have to go and give them their money so they can put their kids through college. Right. You follow what I'm saying? All right, so we're the ones that's at the bottom of society. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall thou not be in the field. When I was a kid growing up, I picked cotton. Because my grandmother and my grandfather planted cotton. I picked peas, I picked butter beans, I picked all that stuff. I just didn't, didn't have other nations next to me doing that stuff. Who we were the ones that were doing it? Right. Right? In slavery, who picked the cotton? Right. Who, 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 who all broke the, the tobacco in the Carolinas? We did. We did. Who did the sugar cane in the, in the, uh, in the uh, Caribbean? It was our people. Right. So what we're showing you, sis, is the blacks and Hispanics, we're the ones that picked the curses of the Bible. Hey. Right. 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 Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. They shall be upon thee for a sign. They, we're reading the curses. When you want to find Walmart and you in a city that you've never been in before, how you going to find Walmart? What you going to look for? What you going to look for, sis? You're going to look for a sign. A sign will help you identify. How do we know, how do we know that this is Bailey Avenue? Because of the sign. Read that again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So the, the curse is going to be upon you and your children. That is your seed forever. How long is forever? Forever, forever and ever. All right, read it again. And they shall be upon uh, they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Upon your seed forever. That means your children. When you pass away. Lord, hey, hey, most high pray that you live 150 years, but when you do pass away, yes. these curses are going to be upon your kids, right? Because we all broke God's law. Now remember, we're reading the what? We're reading the Bible. We're reading the Holy Bible, right? These be the words that Moses spoke to all Israel, right? We got that, right? All right, let's jump to 48. Verse 48, Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Going to serve your enemies, the other nations. The Lord is going to send them against us. Read. In hunger, when you want food, you're going to have to go to someone that is no, don't look like you. All right, you're going to go to another nation. Read. And in thirst, when you when you're thirsty, when you want water, when you got if you don't pay your water bill, do Tyrone, your the, 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 the guy that looks like you, he come and cut your water off. No, who cut your water? Who cut your water off, sis? But who? What? What nation? What nation? What? Say it again. And in thirst. And in thirst, read. And in nakedness, read. And in one of the whole thing. If you want an education, can you go to the school that we set up? Huh? Read. Say what, sis? That's right, sis. We got to go to the white school. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he what? He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Right here, sis. That's a yoke of iron. Right, right here, sis. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on, we're gonna. We're gonna. So the nation of people, had, this nation of people had yokes of iron upon their neck. Did our forefathers have that on our necks? Did our forefathers have that on our necks? Right. Three sixty-eight. Verse sixty-eight. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Hey, Most High said the Lord shall shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. Give me Exodus twenty and, and uh, verse two. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Bring it so we nation of people, sis, sis. So we said we got here by slave ship, right? Do you agree with that? Yeah. So we came here on a cargo slave ship. That's in the Bible. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of what? Out of the house of bondage. So, sis, Egypt means bondage. Bondage is another word for slavery and captivity. You agree with that, right? We agree with that, right, bro? All right, read. And the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with ships. By the way, what I special to thee? All right, go back to sixty-eight. All right, so we now, so okay, now, so we know what Egypt means. Egypt means uh, bondage, slavery. All right, read it from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with ships. Into slavery again with ships for breaking God's law. 
He said, I'm going to if you break my laws, you're going to go into slavery again on a ship. Read. Brother, where were I speaking to thee? Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sown. You shall be what? Ye shall be sown. You shall be what? Ye shall be sown. Nigga, 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 sold to Master Charles in, in South Carolina. So, sis, these be the words Moses spake unto all Israel, the Israelites. So, what's your nationality, sis? Do you bear witness of what this happened? Those people that got on the ship, they were called Israel. What was their nationality when they got off the ship? It didn't change. It was Israel. So, what did that make your nationality? All praises. That's right. That's right. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.